Hello. My husband and I got to go into someone's attic and clean it out before they sold it the property. And I wanted to show you the few things that we got. Um, we got this granite ware. It's a chamber pot. I don't know how old it is, but it's enamel ware. And they, they sell for pretty good money, but um, I don't know. I never sold a chamber pot before, but um, I'm going to try it out. I have uh, $75 on this. On eBay, they sell for a lot more, so I'm just going to try it locally here. And I got another chamber pot. This one here is um, a white pottery, ceramic, or it's not ceramic, it's too heavy, ironstone. It's ironstone. And I also have. I think 75 on this one as well. Then we got some flower pots. This one here is pottery craft and it's made in the USA. It sold for pretty much on eBay too, um, but I brought it down to $35 for my local market. That's pretty nice. There's no cracks or anything in it, it hardly even looks used. And then this one is handmade. You can tell when you look at it, it's not perfectly circle. It has a nice green glaze to it. So and I have 15 on this. And then there's this one. It has frogs on it. People seem to collect frogs. So whenever I put frogs in my booth, they sell quickly. So I grabbed this one. It does have some discoloration in it, but um, I have 15 on that as well. And then the last thing was this little wood toolbox. These are nice for um, displaying pieces in. Uh, I use it as display pieces a lot in my booth. I have 15 on this as well. We'll see how well I do. It looks like it's handmade. The artist put their stamp on it. I don't, I don't know who made it, but I think that's pretty cool that they, they were proud of their work. Okay, well that's my little haul, and um, it's going to be going into Indian River Antique Mall up in Melbourne. It's on 192, right attached to Target, if you know where that is. Okay, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so we are here at America's Antique Mall. I'm going to sh introduce you to my booths there. I've been here for, oh, a long time. And um, I used to have a regular booth, and then I got rid of all of that and I started putting uh, paint, my, my Lily Moon paint. Be careful, because I'm Lily Pond Treasure, so it's Lily Moon paint. And, um, so I've been selling paint here and then I just recently got a second booth because I was in another store that was more of a gift shop and it was uh, I had a lot of coastal things there um, wholesale and um, so I left there and I came here they had a booth available rents cheaper here and so I moved in there and um, I'm going to show you what I have. So let's walk in. Okay. okay, so we are here at America's Antique Mall in my new booth, number 135. And like I said, there's a lot of nautical things, coastal, from another store that I brought in. I want to show you everything. There's a buffet. My husband and I, we painted that. I polished those handles. You should have seen the handles before. They were grubby. And I have some artwork. I am also an artist. Not all of this is my artwork though. That lily is mine. That's a print of an oil painting that I did. That I painted in a workshop with a local artist. Um, her name is Therese and she teaches classes. So I did that in her class. I painted those shells. And I think that is all the artwork in here that's mine.
a Bombay chest. I think that's beautiful. This is a print I, I found. It's Daytona Bike Week. It was a poster. It's an advertising poster for them. I cut it down and I put it in a frame. That's artwork from Bottle Caps. This is Haitian art. Uh, uh, an artist down in Haiti painted that. That's original artwork. And then I have some a little bit of clothing. They allow that here. I have some kimonos. These are bathing suit cover-ups. They were selling at the other store and hats. Here's another artwork. I did not paint that but I, I love it. I wish I did. I have more hats and lamps up at the top here. Some paperweights. I also have some of my soap here. Wooden clove. That smells great. Now I have coral over here. There's a wall hanging of a whale. Some coral. This is um, a bowl. It, you could have it as a decorative hat. It's like Murano style. I don't think it's Murano though. Or you see, it's a bowl. I have some pelicans. I have to step back here. Okay. And then in the center, I have a white drop leaf table. So what do you think about that wallpaper in the back? It, it came with the booth. I'm not sure. I like it, but I don't know if it's right for my booth. Should I replace it? Um, or do you, do you think it's distracting? Or do you think it's something that will catch your eye to bring the buyers in? Let me know in the comments below and see what you think. Okay, so this is booth 135. I'm going to take you around the corner to my other booth, which is paint. This is booth 110, it's Lily Moon paint. This is good paint. It's self-leveling, there's hardly any sanding to be done. It's creamy. It's an all-in-one paint, so it has the primer and top coat built in. And all of this was painted with my Lily Moon. That is a TV stand. And then there's also gel stains over here. The front of these drawers were done with those gel stains to make it look like it's wood. This was a dresser that we cut down and put those pin hairpin legs on. It was kind. We wanted to do it as a dresser, but it was kind of narrow. It must have been a homemade one because this from here to here is shallow so we we thought maybe an entry table would be better we have lamps here that are handmade we did not make them but um a, a, a local man did and he did all the inlays and he did that one as well these are actually like antique car headlights and and then he put a new cord on it. It looks like an old cord, but it's actually new. Yeah. Okay, well that is my, my two little booths here. I hope you enjoyed this. Come visit us. This is uh, America's Antique Mall, the corner of Apollo and Sarno in Melbourne, Florida. Okay, we'll see you. Bye-bye.